What is going on guys and welcome back to Griffin Outdoors channel. My name is Ty as always and today as you see if you saw the last video of my announcement video for my 100 subscriber special I am doing a backpacking trip to St. George Island State Park which is over by the Apalachicola, Florida area and today as you saw by the title we are doing my gear list for this. So as I know I said Florida and it is an island St. George Island State Park so this gear list is, uh, it's October, it's late October, this is why this is relevant. I would not advise people using this lit gear list for um, oct late October, back very late October backpacking journeys. Um, if you're anywhere but Florida and maybe southern Georgia and southern Alabama. Because um, this is still basically what people like in like the mountains and stuff would call like full summer list. But in Florida it's still like 70 degrees so it will work perfectly. But anyway, so I'm going to flip you around here as you see. A little 360, 180 action, I guess. You can see here's my backpack. It's all loaded up at the moment, but I'm going to get everything in here unpacked. And, um, and like sort of segmentized based on what's in here, what's in the main bag, and what's in the bottom, top, all that good stuff. And then I guess in the hip belts too, because I got a lot of stuff in here. So, without further ado with that, but you can see my bag. It's just, you probably won't see this again. It is an REI, well, I guess I'll show you the inside, but it's an REI uh, brand. It is a Trail Break 60. So the Trail Break is just 60 liter. So, without further ado, um, let's get into the gear list. So I'm gonna just, um, you're not gonna, I'm gonna do it like section at a time. So the first section is going to be what is in this pack. So as you see, I'm just gonna unclip everything here. Because that makes it very easy to just open it. As you can see, it's a big pocket. It's actually a pretty large pocket. I've got a bunch of stuff crammed in there. First, we're going to go through all these bags. But I'm going to cut this video and get everything out of the way. But you see, got a bag full of stuff. That's going to be there. Rope. I do have a pocket knife in there too. Just in case. Which I might need for said rope. And then bug spray. So the main thing we're going to be over is going over first is what's in this orange bag though. So I'll get everything out, all this stuff out of the way and spread all this out so you all can see it better. All right, sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this is what was in this pack. Uh, move this out of the way. Come on now. Anyway, so as you see, this stuff was not in the pack over here. This is the stuff that was outside of it. We have some deep woods off bug spray. You can read all that if you want. I'll like do like a slow... Like a slow little zoom. It's not really focusing that well, but there, there we go. So there's the, the just decent sized bottle of the off deep woods. I will definitely not need all of this, but we have the bottle at our house. So I just pat, picked it up and out of the drawer and I'm using that. So then I have about, this about 15 foot of rope uh, coiled up here. It's just cheap rope from Walmart. But I figure if I need to do, I don't anticipate needing to use a, use bear hangs or anything but just in just in case like you never go wrong with some rope i mean you might need to do a bear hang but it is an island like i said like literally a beach island so i don't really anticipate there that being necessary but you never know can't be safe can't be too blah can't be too um can't be too safe with this kind of stuff so bring it along anyway and you see everything was in this bag i've got this from rei i think that's a different type of rei logo right there but it's just like a little drawstring bag Got with a gift card or something. Then here, got some napkins and then this little Ziploc. I mean, this is just for like all kinds of the sword use, whatever you need like a napkin slash paper towel for. Uh, slash, I guess, toilet paper as well. But anyway, so over here, these are just some gear ties in case I need to tie anything up. Uh, when I get out there, just think I, I think these, something needs to be tied and that wasn't anticipating. Got this nice little carabiner, just pretty cool. Uh, this is my main pocket knife that I'm probably going to have on my hip or something. And then this is like a little Swiss Army knife. I guess got a bunch of like a little flashlight. That flashlight doesn't work, but it's got like a couple like screwdrivers and stuff in there as well. Here's the lighter. Now this lighter is what I use to light my camp stove, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, but it's like a little pro, pro, little uh, isopro uh, stove. But this is my lighter. I keep it in here and not with the cooking stuff because I figure it's a pretty bad idea to keep the lighter next to your fuel. So yeah. And then over here we got our first aid kit, just sort of like a standard first aid kit, like a little pocket first aid kit. It has a bunch of like band-aids and gauze, all kinds of stuff. This is my little lantern. I forget who, I think it's Black Diamond makes this, but as you see, it's a pretty decent lantern, pretty bright. You see it lights that up pretty good, uh, even in the, br in the bright daylight. So it's a really good lantern, it's really small. 
and it's got these little hooks, which is what I'll probably end up using this carabiner for, and you can, like, hook it like this, and then you can, like, and, you know, just simulate the carabiner. You can, like, actually hang this from the top of your tent, which is really neat. So, man, this is Black Diamond. Yeah, the logos are the same, but this is a Black Diamond Astro headlamp, and look at this. I love this thing. I also use it for my hunting videos if you ever watch those. Look how bright this thing is. Let me see. Look at this. Even, like, look. Like, look at this, this thing. This thing is so bright. Like, even, look how much it's lighting up this, like, a, the, the couch and, like, the broad daylight. Like, this thing is crazy bright, and I love this thing so much. I use it for everything I need a headlamp for. Not, this isn't just my hiking headlamp or whatever. Anyway, so then we got batteries. These are spares for the, for the, um, the headlamp and both the lantern. They both take triple A's. Here's my compass, just in case it's a backup. And so, yeah, that's everything that's in this bag. So... I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put everything, uh, that's everything that's in the bag and everything in that, in this front pocket here. So I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna stick everything here off to the side. See, now we're gonna be looking at what's in this top compartment, and I'm not even gonna bring them out. But you see, there's just a pair of Crocs, like the foam Crocs up in here, that are gonna act as sort of my, um, camp shoes. But now, so now we're gonna get into the important stuff, gonna go in here. So this, as you can see, there's two bag, main bags. I'll yank this open really quick. This is the tent. So I'm not going to set it up now, but I did set it up and take pictures earlier, make sure everything still works. But you can see this is a Eureka Tetragon NX two-person tent. That's what the two is. Uh, it's pretty nice. I love this thing. It's really easy to assemble. Works really, 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 really well. And um, But yeah, so I have pictures of it all set up. That I'll throw on the screen um, now while I'm putting this back, but putting this back over here, and so yeah, now you're just seeing the pictures, and so now we're back, uh, we are back, and I am bringing out this, this big um sort of this the black case here, black case with the blue is an REI Trail Break insulated air pad. It's a self-inflating sort of like sleeping pad. I really, really like this one. This one is great. It works really well. I'm going to sort of open this a little bit. I'm not going to take it all out and inflate it because it takes a while to get back. As you can see, oh, fail. As you can see, it's sort of like got this blue color and I think it's a, it's got this blue color. It's really nice. It's really comfy, but I'll put it up, the, it up on the screen like the words. Uh, what it's actually like the, the what it's called the product name so you can look it up and see like full pictures if you want to there It is you can see you see color in there So those are the two main things that take up the most space in my pack as far as area wise The tent and this because they're so long, but yeah, so I'm gonna put this back I'm gonna cut the camera real quick and I will whip out and I'll show you what else is in the main compartment All right, sweet next up is this blue bag and you can see a granola bar poking out so that means this is this the, um, cooking bag. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to just gonna dump all this out without any care in the world. Dump. So this is all my stuff. I am, since this is my first backpacking trip I've ever been on, I am taking both canisters of fuel I have. Also gives me a baseline, because I have, I've only used these a cut once, just for like a test. I think it's this one. This one's a little lighter. But, um, I'm bringing both. Just in case, I don't anticipate needing to use another one at all, but you can never be too safe, once again, especially for my first time, and it'll give me a nice place, a nice um, way to see how much one will use and not um, be worried about ever running out. But as you see, this is the more star of the show. Got some of the backpacking food. This is some mountain house, like the dehydrated. This one's the breakfast. This is the biscuits and gravy. Now, I love biscuits and gravy, so I'll be able to be a good judge here. And then I've got some stuff that I bought originally, I think this was in, may have been in the original video, it is Mexican style grilled chicken and rice. So there's that. This is going to be the dinner. This is going to be the breakfast in the morning. And I've got some camp snacks as a couple, few granola bars. There's another couple granola bars in the, um, in the whatchamacallit, uh, the pack and the hip belts. That we'll get to later. See, these are MSR, MSR, um, uh, canisters of canisters of isopro fuel now if you see here this is another msr i have a lot of msr stuff in the cooking setup this is a 1.1 liter stainless steel pot uh stowaway the alpine stowaway and i don't need anything bigger than a liter because that's how much you need for this and um uh, it's just me so for now i don't need anything here i'm trying to open this pot that's why you're seeing the bag so you can see this lifts out 
the sort of like the clamp lifts out into a handle. See, this comes back and closes over that, and that's how you lock it. This is a good handle, really sturdy. And you open this, and there is my first got my spork. This is a I think it says what does this say? Snow, I can't get it to focus. Come on. No. Oh my this phone is awkward to use one-handed while filming. Alright. Yeah, I give up, but this is a uh, you can sort of see it right there a little bit, the outline of it, but it's very blurry. This is a Snow Peak Titanium Spork. Yeah, it's just like a regular titanium spork. And it is made, oh, it almost had, I saw it there for a second. But yeah, Snow Peak, throw this, um, and here, and there, yeah, right here. Oh, there you can see it, I said to put it down, Snow Peak Spork, there it is. So now, see MSR, this is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove. I got this from REI, you can see. I was testing it out a little earlier, so there's a little bit of uh, recent burn, or like it's been used, like sort of the metal markings on there. But this is a great, uh, this is an awesome stove. I really like this thing, even though it's the only one I've ever had. I'm trying to unfold it. I'm only going to unfold one leg. But as you see, all three, there's three legs on it. Hold on, it's very hard to do this one-handed. All right, here we go. Hold on. Uh, just a second. You're going to go crazy for a sec. Um, or the camera is. So yeah, there we go. So as you can see, they all do this. All those other ones unfold, and it's like a, it's like a triangle of like a triangle pattern, and then that's where you set the pot on. And then you got this thing, which is just unfolds, and it is your way to control the fuel flow. So that's sort of what we got going on there. So we got the Pocket Rocket 2 stove. We have the 1.1 liter stowaway pot. We have the food and we have the MSR Isopro fuel canisters. All right, so now I'm going to go on to the next bag in here, and then that shall be. We shall be on the next one. We will be two um, which we call two sections away from being done. All right, sweet. That was very straightforward. As you can see, this is what I'm calling my electronics bag, and as you see here, we got just a. This is just sort of an adapter for my phone. But this is the um, SD card reader. I just got an SD card, or not an SD card transfer is what I'm going to call it. But this is just so I can take some of the videos off my phone. I have a, a USB-C cable for my phone as well. That's going to be there. And I have a portable charger that is currently on charge that will go into this bag before I put this back in. So yes, that is the electronics bag. All right, we're moving on now to the last bag, which is the, um, you know, the final bag. Which is my sort of the sleeping bag, my sleeping bag, if you will, or the I say sleeping bag. The sleeping bag is in that in that bag, but I just call it the bag of sleeping tools. There we go. So, which includes the sleeping bag. So, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna take this all the way up here, honestly, and just just so I don't have to stop filming. Just go up, unclip these, clip, clip, then unzip. There it is. So there's actually more stuff in this pocket than just a sleep setup, but that's the main thing. See, here's a sleeping setup, but I also got, I'm not taking them out either, got five bottles of water in there. But as you know, islands are surrounded by salt water, much like the one we're going to. And so I have to pack in my fresh water. So that's good. So that's why I have five bottles of water in there. And I'm also going to take my Nalgene that you some, I guess, probably some of you have seen in my other videos of the green Nalgene. So, but this is just, I'm going to fold that all the way up. This is mainly for just a refill on my water bottle in the morning or at night or whenever. And the, um, and the whatchamacallit, uh, the cooking stuff, the cooking. Uh, I probably won't need that much, but once again, better to be safe than sorry. And in here... We have the sleeping bag. This is the sleeping bag uh, carry pack or whatever, but this is a Heliosac 50 degree bag from REI. And then inside, you can see this other colored thing. This is, I'm not, I'm going to just, I'm not going to untie it or anything, but I am going to. Oh, uh, it's actually all tied up, so I'm not even going to bother with it, but, oh uh, yeah, I am. Right, sorry for a little camera cut, camera cut, but there he is. As you can see, this is my uh, cocoon. It is a um, self-inflating pillow. It's a, technically a travel pillow, but I am using it because it works great. It's really small and it put, fits great right in the sleeping bag's bag itself. So, just gonna all you have to do, oh, all you have to do is put that in there. It's a hard, little harder to do one-handed, obviously, and then just sort of tie it up here. See if I can still get you a view. Oh, sorry, you're not having a view. All right. So besides the water, you can see in there. 
and the Crocs up here. That is everything in the bag. So I'm going to reload this bag now with full of all that stuff. And then I will show you the finished product and that will be the end of the video. Sweet. As you see, I've packed everything back up into its places. Uh, so you just buckle all these down all that stuff. I'll tie these up and probably there later. But as you can see in this, this hip belt is where my um, personal items are going to go. And in this, I've got a couple of granola bars in there. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my whole bag, whole backpacking setup. Um, and here's the Nalgene I was talking about, by the way, this green Nalgene. That'll be completely filled with water. But flip you around without further ado, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked. Um, I hope you liked the video. Thought you thought it was entertaining, and you liked the backpacking list and the stuff I chose. If you have any suggestions for future backpacking additions to the pack, um, drop them down in the comments below, and I will happily read and consider each one for a future edition. All right, sweet. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video for day one of the trip. Sweet.